Hi guys! This will be an update on the plants I got from Schwerter. I want to show you how they are doing now. I got them on the 23rd of September and now we are already in the end of October so I so we will see how they are doing. And uh, Hugo is not interested. <laughs> And the first one is the BC Saint Andre. It was potted in a sort of uh, sphagnum and coconut husk. And, um, and then, uh, well, I changed it to this uh, mix. I made a mix of um, a sponge rock and a fine grade bark. And the idea is that uh, this has to be fast draining. You know, these are uh, the parents uh, are uh, Brassavola nodosa and uh, Cattleya dawiana and they both, they like warmth and they like to drain fast. In my environment, I would prefer for this plant a plastic, a plastic pot because uh, it's not as cold as a clay pot, which would be otherwise good, but um, not for a plant who wants to be warm. Well, and... Uh, this kind of uh, thing I made based on a video by Bumblebee, where she showed how to how to uh, support plants that have uh, leaves in all directions. So I made this, and it's in this kind of it's this 12 centimeter pot. I forgot, but the good thing is that a few days ago I noticed that it's making new roots. So you can see here a little some roots here and there and this had uh, I don't remember was it three new uh, pseudobulbs there is another new one there I cannot see if it has new roots but it's doing really fine this is a beautiful plant it has very beautiful leaves very very nice and I hope it will enjoy this media and I have uh, humidity today with a um, heating mat below. This is uh, my thermometer. I put it in here because I want to monitor the 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 um, heat over the heating mat. And I can see right now it's 26, 26, almost 27 Celsius degrees right here. Let's go to the next plant. The next plant is this Bupophyllum uh, Elizabeth N. Buckleberry and uh, I have repotted it, it has fresh sphagnum now and if you, if you remember from the last video it looks a little different, that uh, new leaf has perked up, it's, uh, it's rising towards the light and the newest pseudo bulb here you can see on the on the right it has become a little more plump it's growing more and it had a, a little bit of a root coming there so i put more sphagnum there for to support it it's doing really well uh the humidity has been fine for it and when the winter really comes i will put a humidity a humidifier on to help and I can also spray the leaves but it's doing really fine it's hanging hanging below my lights there it's looking really nice the third plant uh, to show you is the Irantis grandiflora you can see the size of the plant right here and this is a um, this is a nine centimeter pot. Yeah, I repotted it. It was in a very small net pot with sphagnum and some pieces of bark in the middle. So I made a mix of sphagnum and a fine grade bark. And uh, as you can see, I have just watered it. And uh, it has lots of new root growth there. You can see a bit through, <laughs> through the pot, maybe. And it's doing really well. When I got it, it had been five days in the box, and this is a plant that likes humidity, so it was a little hanging low, but uh, it's doing really well, and I can feel that the leaves, they have perked up, and they feel thicker and really healthy, 
and they are so nice to the touch that I touch this plant all the time. <laughs> I have this habit of touching leaves and pseudobulbs when I like the plant and I admire it all the time. And uh, that leaf on top is a brand, brand new leaf. When I got this leaf here, this leaf was still closed and it opened and be, uh, between there there was this new leaf coming so this is the progress it has made it's looking really really nice i love this little plant it has a one a tip of one leaf was dried when i got it otherwise really really fine you can see new root there and everywhere where we look you can see new roots green tips there it's doing wonderfully and it likes the humidity tray and the the moist is very important to it a little dust <laughs> it's doing really fine and it loves here and i'm really happy and this is a bloom size plant i really love it if it will bloom for me at some point and uh, here is how i keep it under lights and uh, below the other plants so all this little canopy here makes a little shade because this doesn't like bright light so it's below everything else and it has a little bit of a shade like that one over there the Sidiria japonica uh, everything there gets less light and this also uh, this is my psychopsis cake is also put this way so it doesn't get too much light and my little fowls here they are also below the the biggest leaves so they are in the shade uh, it looks like it has been liking this and last but not least is the tolumnia dapple and as you can see i have potted it into a very very tiny clay pot and uh, the mix is a very very fast draining uh, it's a uh, low-grade sponge rock and pieces of charcoal, so they don't retain moisture. Um, the sponge rock just uh, a little bit of moisture for a while, but it, it really gets evaporated through the pot really fast. So this takes one day to dry. If I water in the morning and then in the evening it's getting dry already. And it's much easier to take care of than in that uh, hanging basket it was when I got it. <laughs> Someone is using his toy as a pillow. <laughs> He's so sleepy right now. <laughs> well, here it is. So this is what I, what I wanted to show you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more. Bye bye.